Hello everyone. So in this beginner series, today we will learn two more controls: font dialog and color dialog. Font dialog basically is used for formatting the fonts. Formatting means you can apply a font style. You can make it font italics, bold. You can change the size of the font. And color dialog we use to apply color effects on the object which we place on the BB forms. So we'll try to learn these controls using one example. So this is a Visual Basic environment, and here I have taken one form. So what we do is, I will take one label, and on the label I will write some text. and then with the help of the font dialog we will apply some formatting on this text written on this label and also we will use the color dialog to change the color of the text appear on the label so first i will write some text on this label so i have written here hello friends so this is the label and on the label i have write hello friends now we go to the toolbox and we look for font dialog so here you can see that uh, we have button so also we require button so first i take burn button and then i take other button i will explain the purpose of using the button here now in this button i will give the text font and the second button i'll write the text color now what i want is i want when i click on this font button the font dialog box should open the dialog box should contain the options to give the font style to change the size of this text and also to apply some effects like uh, bold italics the line similarly with this button i want that when i click on this color then we will get the color dialog box which gives us the option to apply the color effects on this text so for this we have to make use of two controls font dialog and color dialog so if you see here on the toolbox we have this color dialog so we will just take this and we will keep it in our form now you can observe here this control when you try to keep it on your form it goes to the component tray similarly when we take the font dialog you can see the control here in component tray the name of the color dialog control is color dialog 1 and for the font dialog the name is font dialog 1 so how to give the effect so we have to write the code here on the on the on this button so we'll write the code on the button click so here i write font dialog 1 dot show dialog now here we are calling the show dialog function which actually display the uh, yeah, the dialog box where you have the options of formatting the font now we have to apply the effect on the label 1 text so i will say label 1 dot text 
equal and write label one dot font equal new font font dialog one dot font dot name comma font dialog one dot font dot size so in first statement we will display the dialog box for the formatting options and here in the second statement we will create the object of this phone class to use its attribute so let's see when I run this this is the output so when I click on this button we will get this phone dialog box now in this we can have the options of phone, uh, phone styles are there different phone names are available sizes are available so let's say I select this style and uh, I apply bold effect and size I want to keep 18 and then OK so we can see the effect here similarly now what I want I want to give some color effect on this text so we will make use of this button so on this button click we will make use of this color dialog control so on this click event I'll write here first the first thing is we want to show the color dialog box so we'll write here color dialog one dot show dialog so this statement first display you the color dialog box then we want to change the four color of the text written on the label one so we'll write here label one dot four color is equals to color dialog one dot color so it is a simple program only two line program is required now we'll see the effect when I click on run we get this form so when I click on this font we have this uh, font dialog so we'll select some other style here we'll make it italic bold I select size 24 and click so we see the effect here now I go to color so we have this uh, color dialog box and here we can select any color let's say red and when you click on ok we see the effect so it's very simple hope you enjoy this lecture see you in next lecture thank you very much